I can't eat this trash. Ha <laughs> ha! My mother in law began throwing the food I had cooked into the trash. Mom, let's go out and eat something nice. Saying that, my husband and mother in law left the house. Left on my own, I sat at the dinner table and quietly ate what I had cooked. The next day, when I returned home from work, my mother in law began furiously questioning me. You, you, what in the world did you do? My name is Remy. I'm 32 years old and I work in a clothing store. It's a store for brand name clothing. So working there means being very serious about customer service. How can you make someone feel good about their purchase? How do you adapt your customer service to individual customer needs? You need to constantly think about those sort of things in order to make sales. I'm proud of my job and work very seriously every day. I graduated from a fashion school and have been working at the same store for 12 years now. I'm currently the store manager and I work hard together with my team. Because I focus on my work so much, I was a bit of a late bloomer when it came to romance. My friends and colleagues all got married and had kids one by one. Going to all of their weddings, I thought I should be next, but I would be concentrating on work and had left love on the back burner. But finally, it was my turn. I met him at a matchmaking event a friend invited me to. His name was William. He worked at the big company and was two years younger than me. He was good looking and had a calm personality. I'm sure he was popular, but he had been single for some time. He sat near me, so we got to speak a lot at the event. Learning that our taste in music and movies were similar, we decided to go watch a movie together sometime. We exchanged phone numbers and planned our date. After our first date, we met regularly and eventually officially became girlfriend and boyfriend. He was my first boyfriend in two years. All my colleagues complimented me for dating an elite businessman, but I wondered how things would develop between us. Personally, since I was getting older, I didn't want to waste time dating and just wanted to get married already. Six months after we began dating, he proposed. He proposed to me at a restaurant with a beautiful view. I was touched. So I said yes. All my friends and colleagues were very happy for me. I didn't think you'd ever get married. What? Don't say that. Everyone complimented me and wished us well, but among them all was our not very delicate area manager, Carter. Woman will hate you if you talk like that. I don't need everyone to like me, haha. <laughs> Carter and I are the same age. His job in the company is to craft marketing strategies, and he travels around to different stores across the country in order to help them increase their sales. The shop I manage is our company's main branch, so Carter comes here more than any other store. He's become a close friend throughout the years. I'm not even talking about everyone. Can you get even one person to like you? Haha. <laughs> Don't say that, haha. <laughs> Now that you're getting married, you think you can show off, haha. <laughs> I would be happy before you, haha. <laughs> Since most of my colleagues are younger than me, there aren't many others that I can joke around like this with. So Carter was very important to me. My marriage started off well, but soon there were some difficulties. You're a Remy, right? You don't look classy at all. Huh? That was the first thing my mother-in-law said to me when I met her. Suddenly having those words thrown at me, I froze. Um, I try to put effort into my appearance, but... Well, that's just because you can get discounts on the brand name goods your shop sells, right? It's a shame your store does that, haha. <laughs> What? My mother-in-law always insulted me like that. Hey, stop acting like you're so important. My father-in-law lashed out at my mother-in-law, and she went quiet. I haven't been able to trust her since then. That encounter with her even made me rethink my upcoming marriage. But I loved William, so ultimately I married him. My parents were also super happy I was getting married, and I didn't want to disappoint them. 
I wore a dress I loved at the ceremony, and everyone congratulated me. After our honeymoon, our marriage life officially began. At first, we were very happy. Living with each other, having dinner together every night, sleeping side by side, and saying good morning to each other every morning, I was happy to be with him. I felt lucky to be living such a cheerful married life. But a month later, there was a sudden change, and it was a bad one. When I came home from work one Saturday, I opened the front door and saw woman's shoes I didn't recognize. My whole body shook as I entered the living room and discovered my mother-in-law, Becky. My initial thought was that my husband was cheating on me, so I was relieved to see his mother was visiting. But I began to wonder why she was here. Remy, what are you thinking leaving William alone like this? Huh? Where were you? Um, I was at work. What? Work? Work is something you do during the week, right? It's the weekend. Don't lie to me like that. Um, that's true when it comes to people working regular day jobs. But since I'm in the service industry, weekends are my most important work days. My mother-in-law grinned. Oh, that's right. You don't have a real job, haha. <laughs> you graduated from a vocational school, and now you work part-time at a clothing store, haha. <laughs> I see. She pretended to be angry to set me up and make fun of me. I don't work part-time. I'm the full-time store manager. I tried to explain to her, but she didn't listen and just laughed and told me not to try to act tough. More importantly, why are you here? When I asked her, my mother-in-law's eyes opened widely. Obviously, I'm here to see William. What other reason would I come here for? You're so weird. Or could it be that you're stupid because you didn't go to college? My mother-in-law continued to make jabs at me. I looked over at my husband, but he was just watching TV and not paying attention to us at all. I assumed my husband would be on my side, so for now, I just decided to let what she said go in one ear and out the other, and wait for her to leave. Excuse me, but when do you plan on going home tonight? When I asked my mother-in-law that question, her reply surprised me. What are you saying? I'm staying over tonight. Huh? S staying here? What? Do you want to complain? I'm meeting my son for the first time in a month. Are you trying to force me to go home? Um, no, that's not what I... In that case, there's no problem. You're so annoying. After getting angry at me, she sat down next to William on the sofa and began watching TV with him. That's my spot. I never expected my mother-in-law would be here when I got home. I felt mentally exhausted. Wait, Remy, when are you going to cook dinner? Not even five minutes had passed since I got home, and my mother-in-law suddenly said that to me. I quickly made dinner, but then my mother-in-law complained the entire time she was eating. What tasteless food! Do you always cook this kind of food for William? In general, I try to cook him food he likes. Useless! William likes richer tasting food, right? Uh, yeah, mommy. Huh? He just called his mother mommy. I was shocked. I mean, that's fine and all, but the fact he did that so suddenly surprised me. After we finished eating, and my husband and I were alone in our bedroom, I asked him, Hey, don't you think your mother is a bit mean to me? My husband looked at me wide eyed it. When? My mom is such a kind and amazing person. Why would you say that? At that moment, I realized he was a mama's boy. Um, so sorry. It didn't seem like William would be on my side. My mother-in-law ended up sleeping over the next day as well. She began coming over often and taking up the time I wanted to spend along with my husband. As this continued, it became tougher on me. Wondering what to do, I got in touch with my father-in-law about it. He was shocked to hear what I said. 
He apologized for her. I will give my wife a stern talking to. My father-in-law was a really good person. After he scolded William's mother, she stopped coming over. When she wanted to come over, she would call William in advance, and he would ask me if it's okay with me. But then, a new problem arose. My husband became distrustful of me. Why did you say something weird like that to my dad? Mommy is coming over for my sake. My husband blamed me like that. But I beat back. I live here too, don't I? I can't relax when your mother is here. You are treating my mommy like she's a bother. I never said that. In that case, can I invite my mom over whenever I want? Excuse me? It's okay if my mom is here when you come home from work, right? Well... He seemed to accept what I said, but told me that if I treated his mommy like she was a nuisance, he wouldn't forgive me. He was 100% a mama's boy. No matter what happens with my mother-in-law from now on, William definitely won't be on my side. Around that time, something happened that made me completely cut off my ties with my husband and mother-in-law. It was New Year's Eve. Against my will, I was at my in-law's house. William wanted to celebrate the New Year there. I quickly felt uncomfortable, and that was because my father-in-law was missing. Where is William's father? Oh, he's in the hospital. Huh? The hospital? I haven't heard anything about this. It turns out my father-in-law had broken his leg a few days earlier and was currently hospitalized. Who said I need to tell you? My mother-in-law spoke as if it's only natural I know nothing. My father-in-law had helped me out a lot, and we got along well, so how could she just say that? Then something else surprising happened. More importantly, aren't you going to cook us a nice meal for the new year? Huh? I haven't prepared anything. My husband is the one who usually cooks. Since he's not here, there's nothing to eat. So get to cooking. What? As I was at a loss for words, my husband joined in. Hey Remy, mommy's asking you, so get to it. She's not asking me, she's ordering me. I had no choice, so I took the car and went to the grocery store. I bought some semi-ready food since I wouldn't have too much time to cook before dinner time. I quickly bought everything I needed. Since it was already New Year's Eve, most people had done all their shopping and the shelves at the grocery store were nearly empty. Buying ingredients in itself was a lot of effort. I quickly returned home and got to cooking. I got home early evening, but William and his mother were already eating something. They had ordered delivery. Seeing them eating made me angry. But I knew that if I didn't prepare anything, they would just be annoying, so I put all my effort into cooking. By the time I realized, it was already 3 a.m. While I was still cooking, my mother-in-law had woken up and said she was hungry and asked me to make her a late-night snack. I didn't want her to bother me while I was cooking, so I told her to eat some instant noodles or something. That made her angry. What kind of wife are you? Treating your own mother-in-law like this? Do you think I will forgive you? You are such a hopeless woman. My mother-in-law took some of the ingredients I had prepared and began to cook herself fried rice. I stayed silent, but I was really mad. She seemed to cook slowly on purpose and would take ingredients straight out of my hands with a huge smile on her face. By the time I had completely finished cooking, it was 5 a.m. At least I was set for the day ahead. I went to bed. I was exhausted after cooking all night, so I didn't wake up until noon. When I woke up and got out of the bedroom, I heard a noise from the kitchen. Wondering what it was, I entered the kitchen and couldn't believe what I was seeing. W wait what are you doing? I can't eat this trash, haha! <laughs> Saying that, my mother-in-law began throwing out the food I had cooked. I rushed to stop her. Please stop! Why would you do this? Let go of me! When she screamed that my husband rushed into the kitchen, 
Hey, what are you doing? Stop your mother. Your mother is trying to throw out all the food I've cooked. What the? Remy, don't bother my mom. What? If my mom says she doesn't like it, it's obviously trash. Haha. <laughs> she can't just throw away the food I put so much effort into cooking. It's your fault for making something she can't accept. Shouldn't the person throwing away perfectly good food be at fault here? William blamed me, and when I tried to defend myself, he made a bored face. Uh, whatever. It's always someone else's fault, huh? What? Mom, let's go out and eat something nice. Yeah, let's go eat something delicious, just the two of us. They left the house. I was sick of them from the bottom of my heart. Left on my own, I sat at the dinner table and quietly ate what I had cooked. They spent the whole day out celebrating and didn't come home until late. The next day, I was going to be busy with New Year's sales, so by the time they returned home, I was asleep. The next day, when I returned home from work, my mother-in-law began furiously questioning me. You! What in the world did you do? Huh? What do you mean? I woke up and left for work early because of the sales. Looking at the amount of empty beer cans laying around the house, it seems William and his mother stayed up late drinking. When I got to my store, I forgot about them and focused on working. Many customers came to the store that day, and it was super busy. So when I returned home from work, and my mother-in-law began questioning me intensely, I didn't know what was going on. My mother-in-law said something shocking. I suddenly got a call from my husband saying that he is going to divorce me. He said the reason was the way I bullied you this New Year's. Huh? I was surprised. Though I have spoken to my father-in-law about the way my mother-in-law treated me before, I hadn't said anything to him this time. I didn't even know he was hospitalized, and I hadn't had the chance to visit him yet. How did he know how my mother-in-law had treated me? Remy, what did you say to my dad? Why are you doing this to my mom? William and his mother both blamed me. I couldn't take it anymore. I heard something snap inside my head. In that case, let's get divorced too. Huh? What I said obviously shook William to the core. Wait, why would we? You never protect me when your mother treats me badly. In fact, you join forces with her and attack me. So there's no need for us to be together anymore. I can't stay married to someone who doesn't protect me. Let's divorce. No, no way! William and his mother began to act nervous, but I was unforgiving. William planned to spend three nights at his parents' house, but I packed my bags and went home that night. I quickly gathered my belongings and moved to my parents' house. My parents were surprised when I suddenly came home, but they were outraged when I told them what had happened. They told me I should get a divorce. William called me many times, but I ignored him. Meanwhile, I focused on my work. Once the New Year's sales ended and things calmed down, I visited my father-in-law at the hospital. Talking to me, I found out the surprising truth. Since my father-in-law knew that if he wasn't around, his wife might bully me, he hid a camera in their home. Through that camera, he saw how his wife and William treated me. What he saw was so horrible that he decided to divorce his wife. You can use that footage against William when you divorce him as well. He gave me a copy of the recordings. Thanks to those, the divorce ended in my favor, and it was even decided that I would receive monetary compensation from him. One of my employee's boyfriends actually works at the same company as William. That boyfriend spread rumors around William's workplace about what had happened. It quickly became well known that William was a mama's boy who together with his mother treated me horribly. He had no choice but to continue working because he owed me money, but everyone he worked with began treating him coldly. When my in-laws divorced, my father-in-law kicked my mother-in-law out of their home. I've heard my ex-mother-in-law is now leeching off of William. 
William is stuck dealing with the stress of making enough money for two people, as well as paying off the money he owes me. I'm sure it's taking a toll on him mentally. Good, that's what he deserves. I'm into my job as always, and I will make sure I forget this whole mess. One day, Carter invited me out for dinner. I'm inviting you because I'm sure you're feeling down. Not really. Really? I even made a reservation at a fancy restaurant. I guess I will just cancel it then. You should have said that earlier. Let's go. Typical. Haha. <laughs> I don't know if anything will happen between Carter and I, but if I do get remarried, I wanted to be with someone who will be by my side even though rough moments. Well, in the meantime, I will continue doing my very best as my store's manager.